Welcome back to Cripple Creek, as Uncle Buck would say, Karen Creek, as a matter of fact. I'm Jeremy here in Southern High at our beautiful property of 140 acres. If you like what you see today, please consider subscribing. I want to go over what we're going to do in this episode right meow. A few days ago, we had a video on cutting all this red oak. You saw that. If you haven't, go back and watch the previous video. Last night, we cut all this spruce. So, lumbers right now is crazy. Several 2 by 4s 2 by 4 baits is what we got. We got a couple 2 by. Uh, tens on top. I didn't plan on song today. It's beautiful. It's Saturday. I'm out here by myself. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Wow, we've really been blessed with some nice weather here late in the year. November, crazy warm temperatures. This has been super critical to allowing this golf green construction, letting the roots grow a little bit deeper before it goes into winter. That's awesome. This weather has afforded us to get that deeper root zone, which will help get us through winter better. We've been fertilizing, watering, and overseeding, trying to get the best we can get before it does go into the winter months. Now, I'm fortunate to have the equipment and the knowledge to do this golf hole. However, I think everybody needs one. You need one at your house. Why not? Come on. Anyways, very impressed with how it's coming along. Yeah, I think it's uh, super happy with it. Let's get back over to the wood miser. But last night, after we finished sawing, we swept up the mill shop, got things pretty clean from the sawmill and that spruce. But the next project I'm working on, which I'll start on this week, is down in the horse barn. We gotta make a tack room. So to make that tack room, I gotta build two by four walls, conventional two by four walls. I'm gonna use that spruce, those two by four baits for our wall studding. However, I do not wanna use that touching the concrete. Normally in construction, you use treated pressure wood when you meet with the concrete. The next best thing I have, which is probably better, is white oak. So I went down and retrieved some white oak logs. So this will be our seal plate. This will be the 2x4s that actually touch the concrete down the horse barn. After further inspection of grabbing these and getting them in the mill shop, this particular log right here, this is important to know, if you look down at the grain, which I didn't notice it bringing up, but the grain rolls around. So basically, once I would cut that in two befores, it's immediately going to start twisting really bad. So I'm probably going to scrap that one. That's probably going back to firewood pile. This one here looks really good. This is uh, 16 foot. So I should be able to get plenty of two by fours by 16s out of this particular white oak. Now this one here, it's got some twist to it, but I think I can cut off this last four feet and probably get some one by eights or something. So even though the mill shop's clean, for last night's festivities. I'm gonna dirty it back up and saw this white oak. That one's not even worth cutting either. I could maybe get five foot. It's pretty twisted. Now that I got the log up here in this particular position, I can notice it better. So that's going to the firewood pile too, come on. But here we got one. G on the earphones. Small white oak on the Cairn Creek Wood Miser. Here we go. Not good. Can you see that? We've got to change the blade. All right, blade change. We'll recut that that top. I'm gonna put on a brand new seven degree blade. This one here cut all that spruce last night.
really got chewed up. Now it's House of Pain. Jump. Jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down. Got to adjust tension now. Let me tell you guys, that's the first time I've ever had that happen to me. So cutting that white oak, you saw how it was twisting and moving so bad. I called it wrong, completely wrong. So here at Cairn Creek, it's not all roses and sunshine. I make mistakes all the time, more so than most people probably do, but mistakes are okay. For some reason, we've got some saw milled uh, firewood. These things all, I could not cut them. I could not cut them consistent. Uh, as I was cutting them, they were moving, bouncing, Unbelievable. I called that completely wrong. These are the two best ones I can get consistent wise to use and they're they're pretty jacked up too, but oh I'm about to regroup. 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 Looks like we'll cut these two befores up into bottom spacers. So when we stack boards in the mill shop, that'll give us some spacers for the forks so the skid loader can get underneath of them. Hold up, hold up. I've got an idea. The last video, it was received very well. We're showing you guys some day-to-day -day work that we do. So my new idea, during some videos, we'll have a short segment, maybe 30 seconds long, maybe up to two minutes. Basically what I'm gonna do, we're gonna call it the JSF experience. Basically what I'll do is I'll just show you tidbits of what we're doing during the week. I'll plug them into the center of the video somewhere and you guys keep posted and see something different. Let's show you what we're doing today. Amongst all the different things we do, we take care of some commercial properties here in Chilcothi, our local uh, town. This property is one of the bigger properties to take care of. It's got several retail stores, and we do everything from outdoor lighting to snow removal, sweeping, landscaping, mowing, uh, anything outside. We even meet with insurance agents and stuff like that. It's just part of one of the services we do offer. We got a call today about a rock that got drug out into the parking lot from a semi. Let's go check it out. Do me a solid, comment down below whether we should keep the JSF experience segment or drop it out. You think we go through the drive-thru of Panera? 
and the skip. We might try that. All right, here's the rock. hungry. I would like a mac and cheese bowl please. Did you want that mac and cheese in a bread bowl? Yes. Alright, anything else? No thank you. You can go ahead and pull around to the window, thank you. I don't even know what a bread bowl is. At least I can make the turns in this unit. This lady in front of me is nervous as... guessed another one wrong today. First I jacked up the white oak log and now I thought I scared that chick in that car in front of us in the drive through She bought my dinner. She thought I was hot. So Miss Kim, the ladies are on the lookout. Come on. Thanks for watching the JSF Experience. Back to Karen Creek now. Well not all days are victories. Defeat definitely won this morning's round. However we regrouped and worked on some cool projects. Done some landscaping, fertilized the fairway and a few other things. The boys also got to shoot their crossbows. Kim got to do some horseback riding and we had some company come over and visit. Turned out to be a beautiful afternoon here in Southern Ohio at Cairn Creek. Over the next few weeks, we have some exciting episodes coming. I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating. We have a few exciting projects in mind. You're going to not want to miss them. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider. Thanks. Two, one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Cairn Creek. Over and out. Yeah. Go.